I have a confession to make. I am not an organized person by nature. In fact, one look at my office and you would totally be able to tell how completely disorganized I really am. My inherent nature is creative and a million things going at once and hence a little bit scatterbrained and tend to misplace things on a regular basis. So what's a girl to do? We've been talking the last couple of weeks about doing things that help you work on your business instead of in your business all the time. Things that move the needle forward to help you start making more money in your real estate business because that's what we all want, right? Can I get an amen? So I am super excited to share something with you today, something that I've been doing for myself for quite some time now and it's been working like a charm and I'm gonna reveal it to you. Once upon a time, back in the day, I used to have a day planner. Yes, that is right. I would go to Office Max on January 1st and buy myself the cute little three ring black leather binder and get the day runner inserts that I would put in the binder with all of the best intentions that I was going to use this thing and it was going to make me organized and life was going to be beautiful. And that would last about three to four weeks before I completely fell off the wagon because they're boring, they're dull, and they didn't have any room in the planner for what I actually do in my business on a daily basis. Because let's face it, what an accountant does on a daily basis and what I as a content creating YouTuber slash realtor slash digital course creator do are very different things. Then in 2018, I heard of a bullet journal. Have you heard of a bullet journal? It's basically a do-it-yourself day planner where you would take any sort of notebook and you can make your own day planner. And it was cool because you could make it as creative as you wanted to, and it could be colorful and it could have stickers and it could have pictures and diagrams and it looked awesome and it was really cool and it was a fun creative outlet and I did make one and I used it for many months. I liked it very much. The problem with the bullet journal is that it's extremely (laughs) time consuming because you have to make every page for the month ahead. So at the end of March, I would sit down and write all of the pages for April and then I would do it again at the end of April and at the end of May and at the end of June. And let's face it, ain't nobody got time for that. So while I liked it very much, it was super time consuming. And therefore, I think I only did it for about six months this time around. Oh my gosh, I'm totally having deja vu. I just saw notes from when I went to the Bomb Bomb Rehumanize conference in Denver a couple of years ago. And that was the first time I'd ever heard Michael Thorne speak in person. And I'm having deja vu because I literally just spoke at Michael Thorne's virtual summit last week, the RE video bootcamp. Crazy. So then along come digital planners and digital planners seem like the ultimate solution to my problem. But I tried like seven different digital planners that I bought on Etsy or I bought on some website and I downloaded. And again, they were not specific to the way that I do my business. They had all kinds of pages that I just would never ever use. And it became frustrating to me because I didn't wanna buy this planner and then not use 80% of what was in it. So I made my own freaking planner. That is right. The YouTube for agents digital planner is here. So I'm going to show you how I've been using this in my own business for quite some time. I finally decided why am I hogging this all to myself? I need to share this with the world. So if you are a real estate agent and you're creating content for your YouTube channel and or blogging, this baby is going to make your life so much easier. So let me show you a quick walkthrough of what's in it. So here's what it looks like using an iPad with GoodNotes. You have to go download the GoodNotes app from the app store, and then you open the planner inside the note taking app. The first few pages are just introduction and talking about how to use the planner. Then we get into the year at a glance. And on this page, I left some blank spaces so you could write in things like your trip to Bermuda, your daughter's wedding, taking two weeks off over the holidays, just so you can look at it at a high level and see what's going on for the year. Then we get into the goal setting page. You can 
say what your goal will be in GCI for the whole year, but that can be kind of overwhelming. So what if we break it down quarterly? Well, if I want to make X number of dollars this year, this is how much I have to make in Q1, this is how much in Q2, et cetera, makes it a little bit more manageable. Then I have a section for vision boarding. I make my vision boards in Canva. You go over to Canva, you just choose the desktop wallpaper template, put images on there that represent what you want to achieve this year, and then you tap on the photo icon, import it from your camera roll, and now it's gonna be on your vision board. You can see it every single day. We have pages for brain dump where you can just write notes and then you can duplicate this page as many times as you want so if you run out of pages you just make more now when you duplicate it it does duplicate everything that you've written on that page so you simply tap up here and say clear page now we've got the one that had the text on it and the one that is totally blank now we get into some of the juicy stuff i have a section called winning on youtube how do you make your youtube channel work for you I have a section about systems that you're going to need to manage the leads that come in, sections on building your database. What is a funnel that I can create that will drive people into my database so that I can then follow up with them? Because on YouTube, we can't collect their information. Let's talk for just one minute about the equipment. You really wanna have a screen protector on your screen, and I really like the one that has a little bit of grip to it. It's not very glossy and shiny. Instead, it feels like a piece of paper. Like when I hold my iPad up, pay no attention to all of the fingerprints. When I run my fingers over it, I, it feels like paper. It has a little bit of grip to it and it makes it feel like I'm writing in a notebook. You absolutely need to have some sort of digital pencil. This is not an actual Apple pencil. I had the original and it was well over a hundred dollars and I broke it. Or actually I think my eight year old broke it. So I'm going to blame it on him. And <laughs> When I went to replace it, I was like, hell no, I'm not spending that much money on another one that could very well end up in the same garbage can that the first one ended up in. So I got a knockoff version. I've been very, very happy with it for a fraction of the price. And that way you can get two so that you could have a backup should anything happen to the first one. And I really love my case. The case that I have on my iPad, I have been using now for nine months. I like it because it has the little kickstand, which means I can prop it open in, you know, one of like 20 different settings. So it can be just barely upright. It can be very, very upright, or I can just fold it perfectly flat. It works great if you're trying to read a book while eating dinner. So you're eating with one hand and swiping the pages with the other. Not that I do that regularly <coughs> all the time. The thing that I also really like is it has a little place to put your pencil. So you'll never lose it. It goes right in the little slippy spot in the back or it goes right in here and it's magnetic. So it sticks in the side, but it can fall out and lose it. So if you're going to throw it in a bag, you just shove your Apple pencil in the little pouch on the back part. And that way you're not going to lose that baby. Okay, let's get back to the tutorial. I have sections about SEO and blogging, and then we get into the monthly and weekly spreads where we're planning out what we're going to do for the week. We're planning out what did our channel do last month? What do I wanna do this month? What are the videos I'm going to make? Let's come up with a real strategy so you're not just randomly making anything you feel like talking about. If you blog or you have a website where you write articles, we've got pages for that too. The weekly planning is one of my favorite things. This is where you sit down and say, okay, what are the things that I got to get done this week? This is not a to-do list of 57 things. I want you to put three things that are most important that you get done come hell or high water this week. We're gonna write down our to-do list, but we're gonna focus on the top three things that must get done. And we do that for each week. Then we get to the end of the month and we've got a review page. What was my goal and what was my actual? We've got that for how many videos did you want to record? How many videos did you upload? How many transactions did you want to have? We've got a section at the bottom where we can celebrate your wins because this is very important. This is hard work, people. And when you do well, you need to celebrate your wins. And if something didn't go well, it's not a failure. It's simply an opportunity to do better next time. 
Finally, I have a gratitude journal. I am a huge believer in this. I write down what my goals are in the past tense as though they have already happened. I am so happy and grateful now that blah, blah, blah has come true. I write down financial goals. I write down business goals. I write down personal goals, weight loss goals, anything that you want to have you can write in your gratitude journal as though it has already happened and it's kind of a good way to trick your brain into thinking that it's already a done deal i do this all the time and i'm telling you it works so that is the youtube for agents planner i hope you love it as much as i do and if you want to get your very own copy i'm going to leave the link right here so that you can go download your very own copy then be sure to tag me at youtube for agents because i want to see how you're using it